yourself in the shoes of dealing with 90, 95 degree weather even after the sun goes down. Not easy. Ooh, a, a great opportunity for Patino as he got a right foot on the end of that service from all the way out from midfield. Patterson tracking him, Adenarin. Oh, nice return ball, Gomez into space, across Farrow. Patino puts it in! Santiago Patino opens the scoring for SAFC in the 29th minute, and it's 1-0 to the home side. This is a great goal, starting with patience and combination play on the right flank and then a dangerous cross that the goalkeeper uh, has to come off his line to try to block and he's occupying a great space. Lovely one-two on the right flank and then that service forces the goalkeeper to try to deal with it and the Charleston defenders on the line are not able to stop that emphatic finish from Patino who has looked extremely threatening tonight. Um, great goal. It's his second goal with the club this season his first being the game winner in Monterey Bay a few weeks ago. And he picks up the rebound after Farrow had parried it away and drives it in for his seventh goal in 17 matches in SAFC tenure. Maloney with a service into the box um, after Dylan lays it off. There is purpose to everything that they do, including this run from Dylan. Sent across and tipped just wide. It was Patino again getting on the end of this clip cross and their impact on the match so far. Well, at this point, it appears that, that it is intentional on Charleston's part to clearly hold six players behind the ball and hope that the front players can get it done individually. What a chance there by Adenarin has to be punched away by Farrow. Forced to do double duty there as an outside back, so they're posing a tactical problem. To the back post, Tainer across, headed off the crossbar. And it stays out, and it's a corner awarded. Well, these final 30 minutes, SAFC has not conceded a goal all season. Settled down, drops here, Dylan headed, it's in! It's by Lone! His second of the week, and SAFC has the second goal. And they're up 2-0 over Charleston Battery. Profited off of their set piece opportunities. This is wonderful composure from Dylan to take that touch. So many players would shoot that one touch, but done the same for Cardoni here since he has come on for the final 15 minutes of this match. Well, there'll be one final corner. No, there will not. 